So for this week's quilt story, I'm with my lovely friend Caroline. Our sons are best mates, aren't they? So they we've are. known each other yeah. for a lot of years. And we've always sewn a bit together, done bits and bobs, but you finally made an amazing Eventually. quilt. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I was inspired to, to, to make this quilt. I never thought I'd be able to do it. And I really wanted to make it for Evie's birthday with, with her clothes. But in all honesty, I, I did think I probably won't enjoy the process. And what really sort of draped me was when I read the introduction to this, that the author had said, you very much can use whatever fabrics you've got. Um, and there's actually the joy in it is not all sort of pattern matching, things like that. It's just using vintage fabrics, old bits of fabrics, or like I've done using fabric from, from my children's clothes. I made this, this quilt, this sampler quilt, a few years ago, um, which was great to have a taste of quilting, but that was very much a pattern that was, was already put together. And what I loved about this was that I could, I could free, freestyle a bit. And I had seen friends' quilts and really admired them and the colours, and they were very modern. And I thought, yeah, I'd like to do something like that. Life has pretty much been on hold. Um, the kids have virtually fed themselves. Cooking hasn't been very inspiring. The house has gone to rack and ruin, but hey, we've got a quilt. And not only is it, is it a wonderful gift to be able to give my daughter, but actually to have the skill now of being able to quilt has inspired me to go on and on. I just won't give myself such a tight deadline. <laughs> I was up this morning at quarter past six with my son Tommy with a quilt laid over the top of us while I'm hand sewing. So he's seen it and Joseph's seen it and they, they're almost more excited to give it to her than I am. Oh. I suppose in a way I, I liken it to, to baking. Um, I do quite a lot of baking and I really enjoy it and I've just learnt the skills over the years and to start something new is difficult and you're going to make mistakes and you, there are things that you think, oh, am I going to get away with that? Just like there are in baking, but I think the more that you do it and the more that you accept some of the mistakes that you make, it's it's not a problem. Rotary cutting, I found really difficult. I'm, I'm left-handed, I just seem to very awkward with it. It took me a while to get right, but I persisted and I think I got better and better. So I wouldn't let, let those sorts of things put anybody off. And actually, I've made this with, with love and it's me that's making it. So actually I've put my all into it and there are mistakes in there, but I think it's all the better. I've really thoroughly enjoyed the whole process of quilting and it's really encouraged me to make more and more.